Round one getting away out of this second fight of the night. Deadly silence in the crowd. <laughs> in the blue corner, fighting out Wales, we have Christian Haynes, and he is fighting the dancing leprechaun who we've seen on many a fixture here at Standing Bang. Mace Rug representing the House of Pain in the green trunks. This is the second this is the second fight of the night in this K1 in this K1 tournament, this four-man K1 tournament. Lots of movement here from these two young guys. Again, the referee separating the clinch early on in K1 rules rather than uh, tie boxing. So they get one knee and then a release, or one technique and a release. Nice combination of punches from both of these two guys. Oh, no. <laughs> a nice evasion there, followed by a, a solid counter. Some unorthodox angles coming in from these two guys. Rug moving around, looking nice, looking nice on his feet, looking to move out of the way of the shots and come in on the counter. Again, Rug favoring that spinning fat fist. Yeah, Haynes almost looking a bit more, a bit more kickboxery in his uh, in his stance with some of the kicks that he's throwing. Rue tying Haynes up again really quickly there. Nice, nice punch, low kick combination there by Rue. And we're coming towards the end of the second round here. Explosive stuff from these two young guys. Really interesting clash of styles. All right, round two very swiftly getting underway. This, the second round of this, uh, this scheduled three rounder. All right, so Haynes looking to close distance again, again, again. Rue doing a really good job of, of evasion, but he's tying his opponent up quite frequently. And again, in a K1 fight, you can clinch, you can land a technique, and then you've got to get out of the way. <clears throat> again, I feel that Rue may get a warning before much longer. Again, only a couple of steps, then tech and then release. Oh, nice little three punch combination there from Haynes. Really finding the body with those shots. Landing some really hard punches to the body. And they'll start taking the wind out of uh, Rug. So far, he doesn't seem to have slowed down yet. So you've got a really interesting clash of styles here, but I can't feel that Haynes, Haynes seems to be landing the more meaningful shots. And most of, the, most, most of, I say damage, but most, most of the techniques that Rook seems to be getting in are more catching, countering, sort of off-balancing his opponent. But the shots that look like they hurt, for me, seem to be coming from Haynes thus far. And again, every time, every time Haynes throwing those shots in, they look like they're starting to do some damage. Rook's very quick at either getting out of the way or tying his opponent up. Here again, we see him try that spinning back fist for the third time. Same look at the level of enthusiasm in Rook's face though, still in light on his feet. Just trying to come in and out. Again, strong punch there. Haynes just systematically just working his way in. Really solid body combinations. <laughs> Haynes looking like he's almost trying to spin it back fist of his own, but the distancing was all wrong for that particular shot. All right, Claxon Sano, we're coming towards the end of the second round here. But it looks like Rook set himself up for a spinning back fist again, and he does. A little bit more success with that one than the previous attempt. Nice little left hook there from Haynes to finish the round. Another really close round. Third and final round, getting underway now. And these guys both starting at a frightening pace, referee. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, the referee just instructing these guys, one knee in the clinch and then just attack. Alright, uh, these guys, uh, Rue again looks like that spinning back fist is coming, he's really telegraphing that spinning back fist for me. Uh, he's just, again, he's almost turning to the side and raising his arm, he's sort of clearly saying that it's coming a mile away and I think he's just being mindful of that, try and disguise it a bit more with a combination of shots. 
Oh, nice little left hook there. And then again, landed by Haynes. Haynes seems to be landing the more meaningful punches. Yeah, Rug almost looking like he's just panicking now, just grabbing hold of anything and trying, almost resorting to like a Thai boxing uh, rule set when we're actually fighting under K1 rules. So I think Rug, I think Rug uh, probably sen senses that he may just be slightly behind here and needs to pull something out of the bag maybe. And he's really just searching for that. Be interesting to see whether that costs him, whether he makes a mistake. Because so far for me, Haynes is just looking solid, straightforward. Nice basics, but everything has power. And he's not being reckless or giving anything away. He's not wasting any shots. Nice, lo nice low kick there again from Haynes. Can he move forward? That spinning back fist again is costing Rug, in my opinion, more than it's making him. And here we go again. Another spinning technique of some description. It seems to be telegraphed. Again, Haynes just moving forward, just nice and systematic, straightforward. All right, we're reaching the last stages of, the, of this match, of this round. Again, Rug just looks like he's a bit hesitant to make a move, and when he does, he seems to be telegraphing that something big is coming from a long distance away, which isn't really bothering Haynes too much, and then leaving himself open for the counter. Claxon sounding now. Oh, nice, nice axe kick there. Yeah, for me, uh, for me, I think the blue corner has been solid, consistent, and strong throughout this fight. I'd be surprised if he hasn't taken this one. Rug, just a little bit wild, maybe a little bit clumsy, and just again a little bit telegraphical in some of the shots that he's been presenting. And after those three rounds of action, we go to your judges' scorecards, and we have a split decision for you. In favour of your winner, and through to tonight's final, fighting out of the...